My name is Alejandro. I'm a media composer and sound designer, and as of recently, I started making sample instruments. I want to introduce to you the KL Pad 1. It's probably the first sample instrument that I did, and I'm quite proud of it. So I made this video to show you how you could use the KL Pad. These are just some suggestions, and I'm sure you guys will find many more creative ways to use this. This is the KL Pad number one and we're gonna make a track from scratch using only this pad. Well, the first thing that I would like to show you about the KLP, all of these controls are CC assignable. In this case, if you see, well, you're not gonna see the control, but as I play with the controls, you can see that each of these controllers go up and down. I'd like to show you the path. Now, I'm gonna show you the low register. It's very intense, very pretty, very beautiful sounding. Now, as well, if you bring down the release, it has a little bit of a reverse effect, which is very interesting. All right. I'm going to show you each of the signals. So we're going to start with the delay. And now we'll introduce you to the reverb. Now we're going to go to the trim. And then even lower. We're going to go to the last effect. Something that is very important to keep in mind is that the release and attack controls just control the main source. There's uh, two round robins for each of these recordings. Let's start by laying a very simple baseline. I'm pretty happy with that. So we're gonna leave this baseline and now we're gonna go to our second path over here. And let's go to the, our third instance of this. And now let's add our KL main. Perfect. So I'm very excited to share with you how it turned out. So you can hear a little bit of what the, the sample instrument can do. If this was in any way useful and you liked what you saw, you like the kind of sample instruments that I'm working on, I would really appreciate it if you would subscribe to the channel, maybe even like the video, make a comment. I'm very open to hear what you guys think. And if you have any suggestions to improve any upcoming sample instruments, I would really appreciate that. So like and subscribe. Thank you very much. I'll see you in the next time.